the baby oil no, one? Never mind. It's it's all right. <laughs> Dylan, it, may, it might have to grow on me a little bit. <laughs> Dylan Travis, uh, 18 points, second on the scoring charts. He's got the cookie in his hand to start things off. The real deal. Moving right. He's being guarded by Juice, Julian Jarin. Oh, he's gone with the wind. Feel the breeze. Baby oil. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Max Kovacevic will kick it. Dimes, a flick of the wrist, but the stroke was broke. Travis to Big Red. Big Red to Halujaweki. A, B, C. That one wasn't the easiest. One, two, three. He fires a brick. Now Juice threads it to his partner in crime. Oh, yeah. They sharing that like a funny meme. Man, you see uh, you see Amsterdam moving so much. Because Omaha is still playing a little bit of help side, right? They, uh, they just move off ball. They move their defender towards the guy with the ball. And that means if Amsterdam keeps cutting, they're going to keep getting open laves like this. See how that strategy continues to play out as Kovacevic will miss it. And Halujaweki sets up shop. Cross, right, left. Hands it over to Travis. His pass is broken up. Good Dutch defense as Slaughter will get it over to Mad Max. Mad Max, he likes that spot, top of the key. He's going to give it over to Dimes. It's DeMeo. He's going to work. Oh, but it ricochets off the front iron. He left it just shot. Now he's got to defend Big Red here. I think Big Red is an X Factor. Yeah, he should be. He's uh, he's quick. He's deceptively quick. He's got some bunnies, too. Yeah, was, and uh, yeah. he can shoot. I was talking with Dayan Majstorovic last night, and after he uh, he said he's going to prove a point to me today, he also made mention of Big Red. He was like, man, Omaha three ball is a good team. He says that if they feature Big Red more, they're going to be even more dangerous. He's like, that guy can do everything. So he's caught the attention of 3x3 greats. Anytime that stroke was broke from Halujaweki. Maybe they unleash the beast. Also, Clay Rowe sitting there on the sidelines. We talked about what he adds to the team, too. Yeah, he uh, he comes in and adds a lot of hustle and heart. Uh, I just, he didn't sub in all that much yesterday. No. They play with three and a half dudes. And the, guy, and the guy's a former Juco All-American. Really uh, decorated career as a collegiate player. Now we know he can play, so I'm just I'm just wondering why he's uh, on the bench Ooh. all the time. Well, now he's in. He's defending. Travis trying to stop Slockter, and he prevents the bucket, but he's not going to stop Slockter from getting to the free throw line. Arvin had a pretty good game versus that versus Riga yesterday, and the signature win for Amsterdam. Seven points, seven rebounds, three highlights, and of course he's the most lethal shooter percentage-wise in 3x3, 42% from deep this year, 0% at the free throw line on that attempt. 2-1 it stays as Travis pulls the trigger. It is a misfire, long rebound. Tracked down by Juice. He'll loft the Wilson down to Slaughter. That's a great pass. Falling out of bounds off of one leg, finding Slaughter underneath the hoop. Wow. You got to appreciate the simple things. That one out of bounds. So you got Omaha three ball who are coming into this contest with that eight point win over Lehman, but a nine point loss to Vienna to close their day. If they can come, if they can match that mental intensity that they had, that you could see the difference in when they when they played against Lehman, they, they had that fire in their eyes. I thought they let off the gas a little bit against Vienna. I'll tell you what, that might might be because they only play with three and a half guys. But now Clay Rowe is on the court, right? So he's he's out there more. I think Clay Rowe might, is going to have a big impact today. They should. I think he's going to have a big impact today. We'll see. Dylan, Travis, not that time. He's struggling to connect. He's got to step outside a little bit. Now he's got the ball. Let's see what Travis does. Crossover takes it right at Dodge. He says, I ain't never scared. Oh, tough uh, miss right there. Here's Travis. Travis pulls up, and that one just falls off the front iron. Four to two, Amsterdam. Dodge setting up. He's shooting it from the logo. Not happening that time. 
Ball fake. Oh, Travis was in good position there. He didn't get the whistle. Instead, it's Big Red over to the real deal, Lynn Travis. Travis, come on. What the five fingers say to the face? He treated him like Charlie Murphy over there. Oh, my. Swat. Charlie Murphy. Skip your couch. Skip <laughs> your couch. Charlie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be my favorite show. <laughs> This broadcast has gotten off the hinges already. Boss is a bad influence on me. He's coming in with the Dave Chappelle mentions. He encourages <laughs> me to do things with the microphone in front of my face that I shouldn't. Uh, but that was iconic, though, that show. Of course it was. That's iconic. The real, real world. He's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got our own show going on right now. It might be better than the Chappelle show when it's all said and done. This is the 2022 FIBA 3X3 World Tour Final from Abu Dhabi here at uh, Yaz Island, just off the Persian Gulf. Travis, he lost it. He's not found his shot yet. See what he did there? 4 2 it stays. Dimes with the drop off to Mad Max. Mad Max gets some space and he couldn't give him a test. Halfway down, too. Yeah. Big Red, he'll give it up. So, the, you know, look, Dylan Travis is a certified scorer, as I mentioned, 13 points in that opening win, 18 on the day, number two on the charts. But teams are keying in on him, and if he, if he doesn't have a shot going, they got to have another option that's going to get him going. We're, we're over four minutes into this game, and Omaha three ball have two points. Now, Amsterdam has four. Four, so. true, true. <laughs> credit him, credit. I got to credit the defense. defense. Yeah. But, you know, this game is about putting the round thing in the round thing. True. Got to find a way to do it. Dimes with the deception. Dimes, flotation device is not working yet. Halu Jaweki. Gives it over. Travis flicks the wrist, but fires a brick. Juice to Dimes, who got good position on Halujiweki. He's not an easy post. Halujiweki, he's strong as an ox down there. He gets caught holding on to Dimes, who stands about 6'5". And now Halujiweki draws the assignment of stopping Slopter in that pick and roll game. Juice will kick it out. Kovacevic has got to knock these down. I think, you know, if you're Omar three ball, I, look, until he proves that he's going to make them consistently. That's right? a dangerous strategy, though, because those two points are worth so much. That's true. Can he get two? Travis chunks the deuces. Ah, and Slotter gets caught with harassment. He was too close to Dylan Travis. It's almost another and one. See his ball's like halfway he, down, tipped out. He did that yesterday. Did <laughs> yep. he hit? Yeah, four point play of those it, yesterday. He? Yeah. So Dylan Travis, splash. Omaha three ball, the only remaining American team in the field after seeing Princeton sent home yesterday. It has been a banner year for Omaha three ball. As Amsterdam go up now six to four. Here's Travis. He's held up by a foul. I got to actually see uh, this Omaha three ball team back home in The Hague um, when yeah. they played our pro league. They want to stop, right? They want to stop yeah. with three guys. Trey Bardsley was there, and it was Dylan Travis and Halujueki. And uh, they only played because so, so Mitch Hahn was injured, so he couldn't play. And they played with three guys, and they won the whole stop, which is crazy if you think about it. Because that's oh. five games in a day. This is crazier, though. He just got faded. Double shot. Dylan Travis. He got that in his bag. Oh, we saw some of that yesterday. Let's see if he can keep it going. He's got it all even at six apiece. Here's Big Red. He gets his own miss. Now he's going down to the body shop. And he's going to draw a foul. Got good position in there on Kovacevic. That'll be foul number five on Amsterdam. I like it. Yes. That's smoother than baby oil, I'll tell you that. 
I'm not gonna really call him baby oil. It was just a joke. It's okay. It's okay. I thought you were. For sure, uh, I thought you were serious, man. No, he, I'm not gonna name him baby oil. We gotta come up with something though, because again, look, the guy looks like he needs a nickname, like a good one too. You're right. We're gonna get to it. I, it's, a, it's gonna be a long off season, boss. That's yeah, when I get. Right. That's when I get in the lab, man. Mayo finally gets one to go inside the paint. Uh, something he hasn't done today, and he was kind of uh, he was kind of lackluster uh, yesterday from inside the paint too. He's usually known for his mid-range game and his floaters, but uh, he was trying to break the backboard on a couple of those. Yeah, he was struggling just a little bit, but uh, you know, again, not not exactly customary of dimes to see him, you know, struggling on the inside. He's he's even a dominant post player at times, which mm -hmm. is shocking. He's 6'5", he's not a little dude, but he's not exactly a big either. Nope. He's got that chicken wing, though. Yeah, he hit you with that chicken wing. <laughs> got a TV timeout. It's time for everybody to get a rest and reset as we head into the final just under four minutes of this contest. Omaha three ball and Amsterdam. Omaha three ball had a couple of good runs this year. They ran, they finished third in Riyadh semifinals. They finished fourth in Montreal, semifinal finish, seventh in Cebu. We've seen them four times on the world tour. Couple of the challengers, and, and let's not forget, they won the Quebec challenger too. Malik Hulujueki, MVP of that tournament. Yeah, he played great that tournament. I remember watching that and going, just, I remember him, again, from that pro league this summer, I remember him as a screener and a roller, and he was doing a whole lot of different things that tournament all no, of a sudden. I joke a lot about Malik Halujiweki, but that's because I, I got a lot of respect for this dude's game. He's explosive. He can. He got bounce, plenty of heart. He's strong, you, it's hard to post him. Quick first step, he's a player, man. Dimes out to juice. Juice. Oh, that was not fresh squeezed. He misses badly as Halujiweki will reset. Gets it over to Big Red. Omaha three ball trying to pull off an upset. Oh. Dimes. He misses it. Omaha three ball with a two point advantage. Oh, look at that delivery. That was a sweet dish by Halujiweki. Lick your fingers, sir. 10 to seven. He had some sugar on that one. Oh, oh, that's a big play. Big play. The Mayo Vanderhorst. Great pass here. Good oh. finish, too, because the Mayo was still there to contest it. The Mayo coming back, though, with a strong move. They needed that one. They did, uh, just, for, just to stop the bleeding a little bit. Only the four foul on Omaha three ball, doing a really good job defensively without fouling. Dimes too strong on the free throw. Big Red comes down with the rebound. And now Halujiweki trying to get loose with Dimes in front of him. Oh, he put the brakes on and he broke. Oh, the stroke was broke. Little strong. Kovacevic, jab step, up fake. He's got Han in hot pursuit. Is they gonna get oh. continuation? Is he gonna get continuation? Yes, he is. He got it? He got it. Oh, I did. I think I saw referee Yasmina Euros pointing up. Yeah, our officials, by the way, o Olympic officials, Marcos Michaelidis and Yasmina Euros, AKA, uh, I call her Nina Lisa. Okay. She kind of looks like Mona Lisa. I yeah, so you're, right. Lisa. you're right. I never, did. I never noticed that. Yeah. Halujiweki. To the real deal. Dylan Travis, hand up, so what? He shot that man in the face. 12 to 10. See where I'm from, you gotta sign that. You sh if, if you shoot on a dude and it's super contested. Oh, you gotta sign it off. You hand him the ball, you, he gotta sign that. Look at him. That's a crazy shot. That's like the third one like this he's hit as well. He gave him some face paint with that stroke. Uh, it's a thing of beauty. Oh, yeah. 12-10, Omaha three ball. Trying to pull off what would be 
certainly an upset as they come into this contest ranked number 10 in the world tour standings. Can they, is it possible for them to top Amsterdam with 222 to go? We don't know. Mad Max, that was Mad Cat. Here's Dylan Travis. Dylan Travis drops it off. What a look, he's a visionary. How did he see Halujaweki? Amsterdam back here with a great pass as well. Nice, yeah, back and forth. Stay in the game. Amsterdam sticking in it. Dylan Travis. Same whoop. spot, same fade. Yeah, just na a narrow miss. And he fell asleep defensively there. And he's lucky that Dimes didn't end up with that uh, ball. That would have been an easy one. It's uh, 147 left in this game. Dylan Travis looks a little gassed right now. Again, that's, uh, that's the thing with them. They only play play role when they need him. A couple of minutes a game here and there is a spot instead of subbing uh, like all the other teams do. So, you know, they need this timeout, I think, to re get, regain some of their breath. Yeah, uh, you got you to gotta trust the trash man. He's there on time every week. Every Wednesday. And he does his job. Yes. You got to have somebody dispose of the garbage and get a breather. Like for good. <laughs> oh, I think they're looking at this out of bounds. They might have challenged that. Look at this. Oh, that's worth it. Challenge, let's see. Oh, oh whoa. that's gonna be that's uh, tough. That's a tough angle. That, that looks like it's gonna be Omaha ball. Wow. Yes, it is. Wow. So a little turn of events here is that it's ruled Omaha three ball ball. Oh, I see Amsterdam challenged that and lost. That's it. Oh, but they're gonna get the ball back because the Nebraskans throw it away. Dimes, feathery soft touch on the jump hook. Haluja Wecky, places to go and buckets to get. It's 14-12. This game is tighter than aerobics close. As Dimes continues to have the soft touch. Dylan Travis, not that time. Juice. Oh, look at that mm. move. Oh, he, he dunked broke, it? He, he broke him down like a mechanic. He dunked it, though? He gonna need some new knee parts. <laughs> oh, my lord. 14 to 14. Oh, uh, Halu oh, no. Hey, he going off right now. Halu Jueki is taking control of this game like yep. a joystick. Oh. Max oh, got it back. Man, Kovacevic is stepping his game up as well. Coming through in the clutch. Here we go. This is a 10 minute thriller. 15 15. This game is going to be decided in the next 23 seconds. Mad Max missed it. Now it's over to Dylan Travis. Boz Rose and Alka Harley look right now. I'm, look I'm looking away. That's a dangerous man with the rock in his hands. Approach with caution. The real deal. Dylan Travis, 4 2. It comes up short. Answer them are going to have possession here. With 4.7 seconds left. We're going to see if this game ends here right now or we go to OT. Whoa. Whoa. Sweaty palms right now. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous. I'll tell you what. I'm very nervous. Look at this dunk by Max. Look, I go to practice every now and then for these fellas. He hasn't dunked in like two years. Hey, first of all, <laughs> that jab step. That was nice. It was devastating. That was nice. It's like an earthquake happened under his feet. He's you know when an infant starts to learn how to walk and then oh, just... Oh, yeah. Whew. I didn't know that Kovacic just had that. Nope, steal. me neither. Well, you learn something new every day. Especially in 3x3. Yes. All right. Here we go, y'all. Well, they got the 
the most proficient two-point shooter in 3x3 this season, Arvin Slachter, at the top of the key. With the ball in his hands with 4.7 seconds left, he could win the game here for Amsterdam and sim send them to the semifinals. If not, we go to overtime. But it happens right now. He finds Dimes, Dimes, to the dub! And Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater! It is the Lions' time! DeMeo Vanderhorst wins it 